Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I'd like to have a look at the market for the Rockchip RK3588 and RK3588S. So this chip was already announced like years ago but it was delayed with like something like two years and at the end of 2021 and early 2022 the first announcements came in that actual hardware was going to be released based on these chips so i think it started with taki udon on the 24th of march and he showed the firefly with the rock chip 3588 and i guess that's also one of the problems with being the first um, it was also quite expensive perhaps the prices have gone down meanwhile but um, i think it's still quite expensive so i was also trying to get my hands on a rock chip rk3588 board myself but yeah the price from firefly was holding me back so i looked around and i found a company called mikotronics and at the time i think they started with the r58x and I was a bit hesitant to buy it because Mikotronics at the time was not a company I had heard of before uh, and I really didn't have any idea about the quality. But in hindsight I was very glad that I ordered it from them and I think I paid around 270 euros in total for it including shipping and taxes but at that time the euro was uh, a bit stronger um, now it's roughly similar to the US dollar um, so probably in euros the price now is more like 300 perhaps even above that But I received it early April and that also meant that from that time I was able to play around with the Rockchip RK3588 and I also have to disclose that um, the R58 I bought it with my own money and I have I might say good contact with Mikotronics so I helped them out with some testing and I also try to promote them a bit and I guess for those efforts they decided to send me the R58 Mini for free and as you can see they have several options nowadays uh, there's also like an armor version probably that can take a hit um, there's also the option just for the bare motherboard and also like a more traditional Android TV box and this one also has the option for a 2.5 inch SSD you also see the LS1200 live streaming box that one is going to be based on the MediaTek Genio 1200 so perhaps I'll review that later I'm not really sure if that is going to happen but who knows something for the future and as I said early 2022 Raja announced the Rock 5 Model B um, it took a bit longer than expected but yeah it's uh, 
still in a time of chip shortage. Although it seems that the rock chip 3588 um, that you can actually can get your hands on it. So, and I guess that's also one of the reasons why you see quite a lot of products nowadays based on the rock chip RK3588. Uh, because I pre-ordered, um, it might even have been on the same day that they announced it. So I was really at the front of the queue and I already received it. I already did uh, some videos and I think they're still busy with uh, shipping the pre-orders and well, hopefully, let's just say before the end of this year that they can start selling it uh, just for the regular users and not just the people that pre-ordered. Meanwhile, there was another board that caught my eye, the Kadash Edge 2. And this might be the smallest Rockchip RK3588 board. And yeah, it's, it's not a cheap option, but if you prefer a tiny board, then yeah, you might want to have a look at this one. And you also can get it with this metal case. And I think this metal case will also help with the cooling. Now, I've seen a lot of complaints about the prices of Rockchip RK3588 boards. Um, I think Raja was the first one to have it at prices that started around 120, 130 dollars. And with the pre-orders, you would get a, in total, 45 dollar discount. So, yeah, if you really wanted to at that time, you could get it for less than $100, but yeah, as it turns out, you had to wait a long time for it before you actually had it in your own hands. So, as I said, it looks like that the Rockchip RK3588 is relatively easily available. So now I'm moving on to the NanoPi R6S. As you can see, this one starts from $119. This one is more aimed at uh, being a router because it has one gigabit Ethernet port and two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports. So when you want to run something like OpenWRT, then this might be a board to look at. And recently, OrangePi announced their OrangePi 5, and it's based on the RK3588S, which is a cost-optimized version of the RK3588 without the S. And let's just say when you're just looking for a simple single board computer for retro gaming, then the RK3588S can do um, the same things as the 3588. It will have the same performance uh, based on the CPU cores and the same performance for the GPU. So there's only a difference in the amount of peripherals that can be connected or the ports that can be connected. But as you can see, it starts from $60 and that's even with four gigabytes of RAM. But it means you will have to order this month and they expect to ship it next month, starting the 1st of December. And after the 1st of December, the price will go up to $68. And next year, it will start from $75. So 
So I guess at the moment this is the cheapest option to get your hands on a RK3588S single board computer. Now I'm switching to some other options with the Rockchip RK3588 and that is a laptop. Now if you want to order this one I think you have to click on the get samples and then you can just order one piece. Uh, I think it means that uh, because they call it a sample, so you don't have the option to configure the storage, you don't have the option to configure the memory, but I think it comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, the sample. And you see $425, and I think you also have to add like shipping and potentially taxes. So that could mean that you might end up with a price above $500. But for now, this is what I've been able to find so far, the only option for a Rockchip RK3588 laptop. Now we're moving to a tablet and they call it the Phytab Duo. And it's also based on the Rockchip RK3588. And I think it's the S. Um, it's not cheap, as you can see here. Um, around $560. And then you probably need to add shipping and possibly taxes. But it's nice to see that more options are coming when you want to have a different kind of form factor. And another one that I want to mention is the, well, I hope I pronounce it correctly, the High Goal PC. And yeah, it's a bit like a thick tablet and I think in the future they want to release it with different screen sizes. Um, yeah, it's also not very cheap. But again, when you're interested to get a different kind of form factor, I think here it says about $352. And then you probably need to add shipping and taxes. And yeah, after the laptop, the two-in-one and the thick tablet, I also want to mention what they call a signage, signage device. So as you can see here, this is like a smart TV and I'm not really sure what it is capable of, but it's also based on the Rockchip, oops, Rockchip RK3588. Now, I think it might be possible that um, there are many, many more products that I haven't mentioned yet. There are two more that I would like to mention. That is the Quartz Pro 64 from Pine64. So this is the development board. And I hope that when they release a SBC that it will be a lot smaller. And yeah, it also probably means that when they release it, that it, I'm expecting that they will have Manjaro running on it. And I was surprised to see that even a company like Genia Tech also is jumping into this market. And this board looks 
very similar to the development board from Pine64. I think this connector is not available on the one from Pine64, but the rest of it looks very, very similar. Also this hole in the middle in the board. So these are the boards that I wanted to mention uh, in this quick look at the market for the Rockchip RK3588. I will also add uh, the links in the description of the video when you want to have a closer look at one of these options. And I hope that 2023 will be an exciting year for the Rockchip RK3588 and 3588S. So that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.